Now, my first guest tonight has not really had a happy year. Sure, he defended his Commonwealth Light World Awake title and won the British version, but a WBC eliminator vanished into thin Romanian air. He vacated his British title and is now waiting for the phone to ring. And that, in boxing, my friend, is a frustrating wait. He's unbeaten in 27 and ranked very high all over the world. I'm delighted to welcome from, well, he's in Nigeria at the moment, but I'm going to get him on live. Ajosi Alusagun. Ajosi, are you there? Yes, I am. Ajosi, it, it's fair to say that this year has been a frustrating year. Yeah, that would be very fair to say. It has been very, very frustrating. Uh, I, I thought I would be a world champion by the end of this year, but obviously that has not happened yet. So it's not gone my way, so it's very frustrating. Because you gave up your British title because there was a planned WBC eliminator in Romania. What happened to the WBC eliminator, Josie? Actually, uh, you're right. I gave up the, 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 the British, British uh, title for the WBC eliminator. Mm -hmm. And a week before the fight, the fight was going to be in Romania. Yeah. And a week before the fight, the, the fight was cancelled. The motor could only the fight. Oh. So I am like in the, I am like in, in limbo, waiting for the WBC to make a decision of when the fight is going to happen. So do you have? So it's really a situation. Do you have any idea if you are actually going to get closer to the WBC champion Devon Alexander? I mean, have you, do you have any any understanding? Will it happen early next year, or, no. or have you been ignored? Yeah, I reckon it's gonna happen next year because you know uh, I am number two contender now. The Romanian is the number one contender, mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of me beating the Romanian, and I'll be the mandatory challenger, and mm -hmm. that way the fight can happen. So you know I'm in talk with some people to make sure they can to make sure we can get the fight promoted, and I'll, and, and and that's all we need to do. Sure, get and the you... Romanian out of the way. Yeah. And we can fight for the world title straight away. And you would fight Devon Alexander in America. You're not bothered about travelling to America. No, I'm not. I I, I will even box him in, in in his bedroom. I was willing to go to Romania to go and fight. You yeah, know, of I course. had the chance to go to Romania and fight. And I was confident I was going to win because I believe I'm the number one light welterweight in the world. So fighting Devon Alexander in US would not be a problem at all. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now, the crazy thing is, uh, 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 Josie, is that when you were British champion, Amir Khan was actually the world champion at light welterweight. Have you had any discussions with Amir Khan's management team about a possible fight with Amir Khan? Actually, I haven't, I haven't had any discussion with them, but it is obvious he's not going to fight me. It's, it's very simple. Mm. Uh, he's been looked after, you know, by some people that are really protecting him. They know, they know, they know yeah, they, he's not going to stand a chance fighting me, so they're not going to pitch him against me. Sure. And I understand. Uh, if I was in the issue, I wouldn't fight me. So, good boy, you're right. Uh, he, he, the guy, he, he's a good boxer, you know, he's very good, he's very fast. So I'm, I'm definitely better than he is. I'm number one, I can beat him at any time. Call me for the fight next week and I'll be ready. Well, listen, let's hope something does happen for you, Josie. And the next time I get you in, it won't be in Nigeria. It'll be when you're back in London and perhaps get you in the studio. Josie Alusigan, thanks for spending a few minutes talking to us tonight. Now